Hey there, Popper fans. I know you're sick of Chatterstorm. A lot of you want it banned. I'm no different. But today I am bringing you a combo deck for Popper that can still take some of what Chatterstorm was good at and apply it to another strategy. So in front of you, I have Epicure of Blood Storm, uh, gain life storm combo with a transformational sideboard into reanimator. We could call it reanimator storm. I don't care, storm reanimator, whatever fills your heart full of joy. But the main idea here is that we should take what worked out of Chatterstorm and apply it to another combo deck. I recently uploaded Serpent Storm, trying to do something similar with Galvanic Relay. That deck had more synergy with Galvanic Relay. This time, the deck's a little bit closer to Chatterstorm. So you'll notice that we have the same exact mana base as the Chatterstorm combo deck, and then even the same artifacts, even the same numbers. Like, this deck is pretty close. And then Dark Ritual, Rite of Flame, Cabal Ritual, obviously those are the same cards as the Chatterstorm deck. Faithless Looting was in a lot of the early lists and then was trimmed down, uh, and now it's usually like a two of. Uh, Exhum obviously seems a little bit weird, but that's a holdover from the former Epicure of Blood combo decks uh, from years past. But also it helps with our transformational sideboard package, Integrator Sandworm and Ulamog's Crusher. From there we have Knight's Whisper and Sign and Blood. Obviously uh, these two are pretty good. In older list for up your combo a lot of people tried to play ideas inbound i think that card stretches the mana a little bit too much and instead uh we're just gonna play cards that are on color cards that are easily castable and not try to stretch your mana i think both these cards are delightful and then something that's a little bit unique to this list is cathartic reunion so this card acts as our ideas inbound slot at finding fresh cards you can discard you know extra lands mid combo or maybe an extra galvanic relay or even epicure of blood so that way you can exhume it back um yeah so it obviously ties into our cyborg plan with the greater sandworm and ulimux crusher as well i felt like we needed at least two more discard effects for the cyborg plan to be successful that's why the cathartic reunion is here it also helps achieve our combo in game one so it just makes a lot of sense to me and from there we have our weather the storm which is part B of the combo, where part A is Epicure. When you have Weather of the Storm and Epicure, you get a Grape Shot effect, where each life you would gain causes the opponent to lose one, or whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. When I first tried to play this combo, probably about a year ago in Popper now, I thought that your opponent would lose three for every copy, and I was like, oh, this deck's busted. That is not how it works they lose one life for every three that you gain off Weather of the Storm. So every copy that resolves, they lose one, effectively making it a green grape shot. So keep that in mind. It's not just Storm 7 win the game. Uh, it's Storm 20 win the game. So uh, it helps to have two copies. Some older lists only played one, but I think it's just going to be a lot easier to double weather than to reach Storm 20. Um, yeah, and then obviously we have Galvanic Relay, which is a holdover from the Chatterstorm deck. I think it's going to be a big improvement to this deck. Uh, fizzle Rate was definitely a concern previously, and now maybe that won't, because uh, you don't have to storm up to 20. You can just like double Relay and then you know go off on the following turn. In the sideboard, we have four Duress. This entire package can come in if you want it to. Uh, because Duress helps protect your Ulamog's Crusher, Greater Sandworm. You can also just stay on the main deck uh, game plan and then board in Duress as well. Uh, so it depends on which avenue you're going for. And then obviously we have Exhum to help with the Reanimator package. Shred Memory is mostly is just act as a fifth copy of Exhum. Uh, against Graveyard decks though, obviously it's pretty good at exiling four cards. And I chose uh, to run two Pyroblasts instead of a 3-3 split with Duress just because I value uh, discarding like uh, cast downs and go for the throats or whatever on Ulamog's Crusher. And then obviously our big creatures. Greater Sandworm is the secondary creature in my opinion. While it does cycle putting itself to the graveyard for your Exhum, it's less impactful than Crusher because if you can turn one Crusher uh, or even turn two Crusher on the play, it's going to win games on its own, where I don't know if Sandworm will. Sandworm might get bounced or whatever. So Crusher's just the better card, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's the deck tech. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate that. And while you're down there, make sure to like. And if you're not already, please subscribe. It's a super easy way to support us. And why not, right? 
And if you're already subscribed, you should be consider becoming a member until the end of August. I am allowing you to see all videos early, which is a top tier combo cabal feature. So if you subscribe now, you will get all those videos that I release up until the end of August early, including Deckless. So make sure you check that out. If you're looking for any other way of supporting us, there are donation decks. Check those out at theepicsform.com slash donation decks. We have three tiers for you to choose from. They're all great in their own way. Make sure to read those details. And then you can go to theepicsform.com slash shop. Check out you know, our card singles, pint glasses, token packs, and much, much more. Speaking of the token pack, for $12, you get 54 combo tokens. 20 from 10 red, 10 black, 5 blue, 3 of the rest, 54 goblin tokens. Whoops, I clicked the wrong one. 54 goblin tokens on the back uh, this token pack was designed for the epic storm so there are goblins on the back for your copies of empty the warrants and there are many make sure to go check those out we're down to our last 16 so if you want a ri an original token pack make sure to go grab those all right that's my intro once again if you have any questions on this deck list i will do my best to answer them in the comment section down below I realize that this is sort of a, uh, a newer strategy. It might be flawed. I sort of just thought of combining these two decks this afternoon, and here we are. Hopefully it goes well, and I hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in match number one. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome to round number one. We are on the play with Storm Reanimator, Reanimator Storm. I feel like that sounds a little bit better than Storm Reanimator. It's a little bit weird, uh, but we have a decent opening hand here. I think I'm going to try this. Uh, we have the Peat Bog, which is going to cast these Sign and Bloods. So that's good, but we do need to hit a second land. Or it could get a little bit hairy. Uh, Faithless Looting is probably going to discard this Epicure. All right, what are you playing, opponent? Islands, apparently. So island matchups are sort of where I want to try this transformational sideboard plan. So hopefully we win game number one and then juke them with game number two. Fairy Seer for the opponent. Okay. No land. Hey, there's a Sandstone Needle. How lovely. And uh, just discard. No mana yet. We have these two copies of Mana Morphos, but no Dark Rituals or Rite of Flames quite yet. If our opponent just plays a land and attacks, uh, we do have to worry about Spell Stutter Sprite, unfortunately. All right, so no Ninja the Deep Hours this turn. They did not play a land pre-combat, which means they cannot Ninja to it into play. Okay, Fairy Seer getting in there. All right, and a Brainstorm. Using the one with the rare symbol, there shouldn't be a lot in Popper. Black uh, symbols only right? I don't know if that would actually work. I'm sure there's some uncommons that have been shifted down that uh, might not. No, I guess that's not true. They would have to have a black uh, set symbol. I don't know. But that brainstorm, in my opinion, should not be allowed. There's like 30 versions that all have the common symbol on it. Evolving wild. So we're going to have this turn open uh, to combo out if we can, you know, find something good. And they reveal that they're on the black version. Okay. Um, I guess we start with Sign and Blood. Come on, mana. Yikes. Um, okay. I'm going to add red black here. Come on, you're tapped out. It's just F6. All right, there's a Dark Ritual. That's a good draw. All right, let's Morphos. I had Red, Red. And now let's Looting. Uh, two lands. Not ideal. Um, get rid of the Epic here. So I get Looting again. Or put Epicure into play. Um, but I don't think Epicure into play is that good. Probably fine. But I also think it's likely to die next turn. So if I play Looting, my hopes are to draw into Rituals. I could also Cathartic Reunion. 
Uh, but that leaves me drawing into exactly Dark Ritual. I guess we have Lotus Petals in the deck too. Maybe Cathartic is just better. Uh, discard Looting and Chromatic Sphere. Uh, we drew Rite of Flame. I think we have to pass here. Okay. A little bit of a bummer, but it's fine. Not a lot of mana on the top of our deck. So now our opponent will have uh, spells that are up or additional counter spells. Okay, our opponent's played an island. Now what? All right. Come on, Nujitsu it. I'd love that. Nothing? Okay. I think we're likely just going to be playing Drago. Yeah. So the problem is that if we try to do anything, we open ourselves up to um, like just getting our Cabal Ritual countered, and we really need Cabal Ritual to resolve. So I'm just going to pass. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so we can try to resolve Faithless Looting here. See if we can fix our hand at all. Hmm. I think I just want to start on Cabal Ritual, see if this resolves. Sort of unfortunate that I don't have like a Chromatic Sphere effect. Okay, so that resolve, that's a good first step. You can't let Cabal Ritual resolve and then fight over Rite of Flame, that just doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's Night's Whisper. Come on. You don't need to tank on every spell. Apparently this is the one they want to fight over, though. Okay. Uh, so we can exhume now. Get the Epicure into play. So this is a part of a greater plan to increase Storm Count. Even if for some reason this... I don't think that this could actually be countered. Um, so I don't know what they're taking so long for. But... Um, on their turn, they're likely going to cast down the Epicure or something along those lines. So the plan for the rest of this turn is to flashback Faithless Looting into Galvanic Relay. Alright, so Epicure comes into play. Should have Flying, right? Like it's a vampire, doesn't have Flying, a little bit weird. But uh, we're going to flashback this Looting now. Um, I can only go up to 5. So I think what I'm supposed to do is if i discard the weather there's only one more weather in the deck which is sort of a concern for me and i can't actually double relay here i'm a mana short so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep the sandstone needle and just relay and then pass the turn so storm eight into galvanic relay and we have a four four body in play let's see what our eight cards reveal off of this galvanic relay I wish our opponent would pick up the speed a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's bad connection or just, you know, not a very quick player, but they don't need to take this long in every decision. Wall Ritual. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. Morphos. Okay. Dark Rit. Wall Rit. Night's Whisper. Chrome Star. So the Chrome Star was actually a very good reveal for us, uh, and that's because otherwise our opponent could just look to counter the Morphos, and keep us off of all of our black cards. All right, so they're going to get in for two here. We're going to go to 11. Interesting. All right, I'm going to start off just by attacking with Epicure. And the reason why is if they have another uh, spell starter sprite, they can get in a free block later. For now, our storm count just went from 20 to 16, which is actually pretty important in my opinion. All right, so we're going to start off casting everyone's favorite uh, one mana red sorcery, Rite of Flame. All right, so that resolved. All right, Chrome Star. Let's uh, add a black mana, draw a card. Always yield, why not? And let's mana morphose. Interesting that they went after Manamorphos there. Okay. 
Um, Dark Ritual. Maybe I should have used a red mana there instead because now I have a ton of black mana. Let's Knight's Whisper. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's add a green mana. Exhum, okay. Uh, we're gonna add red green here, I believe. Red green. Not the best. Let's Cathartic Reunion. Actually, probably want a Faithless Looting. Because this, if it gets countered, I'm just down to. See what happens here. Hmm. Does this resolve? Okay. I think we've got this. As long as our opponent doesn't have a removal spell in hand. Trying to draw into the other weather because that would stop another removal spell as well. Okay. Uh, looting was actually somewhat of a bad draw. Um, so I think we're supposed to. I think we're supposed to just weather. If they had the cast down, they have the cast down. Storm 20 weather the storm. F6. Green grape shot? Is this happening? Storm 20 uh, weather the storm? I've never killed anyone with a weather the storm before. No, don't do it. Ah, uh, they had the cast down. Uh, that's sort of a bummer. One of the weaknesses of this deck over Chatterstorm is spot removal. Um, well, they're not going to deal 67 damage. That said, we have 14 cards in deck, and I don't know if we're going to win this now. <sighs> sort of a bummer. Trying to find that second weather of the storm to prevent that from happening. Uh, I think I'm supposed to just pass. And step brainstorm from the opponent. Sure. I'm just going to let them run their clock out. Uh, it might not be exciting for you, so if you don't want to watch the rest of this game, I would recommend skipping ahead. That said, I am going to make my opponent, uh, you know, attack me a bunch. Who knows? Maybe there's a small chance we could win after all. Okay. Lambs. If I was my opponent, I don't even know if I'd attack. I mean, it's like pretty free, I guess. But there's no way that they deal me 56 damage um, before I deck myself. It's just not likely. And there you saw the downside of playing Epicure combo over Chatterstorm. Okay, I mean, you're still maybe, I guess, with 11 attack steps with a uh, Kurma, you could be able to. I just don't even know. I don't think we can deal 16 or cause our opponent to lose 16. Both uh, both of our exhumes are gone. We have one Epicure in the deck. It's not probable. We only have 10 cards. We have less cards in our deck than we need Storm Count. And some of those cards are lands. Okay. Another relay. And the opponent is once again attacking us for a bunch. Create as many draw triggers as you would like. Run that clock down. I mean, maybe they can deal 37 in time. Okay. Beat bog, sure. So they're currently dealing 10 a turn. Yeah, I guess they could kill me. Four turns. I'd have four cards left in deck. Should I try to deck myself first? That's the real question, right? I wonder if they get to 10 minutes on clock before I die. They denied me a weather the storm kill. It's not very nice of them. Um, I think I'm just going to pass here. No point in doing anything. Sure. Okay, so now they're attacking for 12. Triggers. 
we drew the epic here. Um, not that it's super relevant. So their next attack step would put us to three. So they will kill us before we dock unless I do something about that. Okay. Let's cast some spells. Faithless looting. Relay doesn't seem great here. Whisper. Okay. I guess I can draw the last card on my deck. Another Chrome Star. Hardcast Epicure. Bummer. But uh, you will not kill me before I deck. So I guess I have that going on for me. Epicure has been countered. <laughs> kind of funny that I went through my entire deck this game. Okay, and they did not get down to 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 8 seconds. Uh, but I think we're going to try out that transformational sideboard. We're just going to literally board in all 15. And I think you can probably board out Epicure. I don't think that's a card we want. Um, the question is, where do the other slots come from? We, d we need 13 cards to come out. So I think you want all of the Dark Rituals. You want Duress. I don't know if, like these effects are as good like the sign and blood whispers maybe you don't need all of those um the thing is like relay is just so good against uh what our opponent's trying to do so i think we probably want to keep those so i think you could probably board out this stuff so i think we just want to be really fast into a giant creature so i don't know if you really want to board out the rituals uh, but I could be wrong. You could probably board out Cabal Ritual. I think you probably want to keep right and dark. Then, like, maybe board out a Chromatic Sphere. Or, like, one relay. Let's keep the Sphere. All right, let's try this. I I'm not super confident in how this works yet, uh, but this is just, like, a fun idea that I had, and I do think that this could be somewhat viable or a viable Storm Strategy post-bannings. So... I'm assuming that Galvanic Relay isn't hit, because I don't think it's going to be the one that's targeted. But uh, this seems like a pure combo plus your animator could be decent. All right, we're on the play. We have a Crusher. We don't have a way to get to the graveyard. I think we probably keep this. When it's taking a mulligan. I guess one downside in this matchup is that uh, our opponent definitely didn't side out cast down after that game one. Okay. Probably just playing star here and then our land. I would love to draw faith those looting. Let's go. Fairies here, sure. Or cathartic would be great. All right, so now they know what the jig is. They know that we're trying to reanimate them. Maybe you're just supposed to board out all of the relays and keep in, like, the whispers and stuff. Because, like, it does seem like there's a little bit of a friction here between relay and this package. But uh, it is just, like, one opening hand. It might not be true in general. We have six cards we really want to draw for turn. I guess I would also be fine with Greater Sandworm. Ooh, we could also theoretically hard cast Dual Mogs Crusher. That would be funny. Might be a little bit tough after setting out Cabal Ritual, though. Opponent's not afraid. Left us with both copies of Exhum. All right, I'm going to cycle here for a black. Just so I can cast this dress without losing um, a counter from our Peat Bog. Another Crusher. Okay. So they don't have a whole lot here if we can manage to draw into something good, like a cathartic reunion or a looting. Play their island. I imagine they're playing fairies here. Okay, so their top card that they kept with this fairies here was a preordain. One on top, one on the bottom. Relic. What? I guess they saw the exhumes uh, in game one, but geez, that's backbreaking. 
I guess how we beat Relic is with the Worm, if we can draw it. So their opponent hasn't played Evolving Wilds yet. You know that they still have a Fairy Seer. Kind of wild uh, that they just like had Relic, but... Because it's not super good against Chatterstorm. Hmm. I guess the two exhumes they saw was just good enough. All right, so there's Sandworm. Um, so that was actually a decent draw. So before the Relic, a thought that I had is like, we could move to clean up and discard a Crusher that way. I don't think that's a viable strategy anymore. Actually, I guess it is uh, because I still have this Chrome Star so they could I need to think this through. Okay, so I can go to clean up, discard crusher, unstep, uh, remove the chrome star, and then when they go to relic me, I'll pyroblast a fairy and then remove the pyroblast. And then when we exhume, what I can do is cycle greater sandworm. It requires our opponent not having anything in hand, but sometimes uh, you have to get lucky. Okay, that's an auger and a preordain. Sure, preordain is fine. So, right now they're going to have two unknowns, two cards on the bottom with preordain, and now we try for the sandworm. So, they're likely to crack relic here. Uh, that's fine. And then before that resolves, we cycle Sandworm. Legacy Tricks and Popper. Let's go. 7-7 seven, seven Worm. Okay. So does Exum resolve? Hell yeah. Okay. So we have a Giant Worm in play. It's down to five minutes on clock, so we can get this game. I'm feeling pretty good, but uh, we do have to win game number two. <sighs> yeah, knew that was a possibility with burning the uh, the pyroblast. So now we're looking to draw faithless looting. Opponent's down to two cards in hand. Another crusher, geez. Uh, I think we're just gonna play Chrome Star here. I could cycle uh, the sandworm and try it again. Ah, oh, and now they got our other exhum. It stinks. I mean, they've already gone through two duress. Most lists only play two. Like, the full play set of dress is not very common. Two cards in hand. See what I can do here. Filter for a red. Let's try to morphos. Okay. So I guess we just relay for three. That's probably not going to be good enough, but I don't know what else we're doing. And, okay, well, so we hit the exhum, but we don't have any black mana now, which is sort of a bummer. I guess I have no creatures in graveyard. Never found any of our looting effects in game two. We're just going to die to these three uh, before their clock burns. Yep. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have the mana to do anything. So we're starting this league off zero and one. Bummer. Okay, match number two. We're on the play. Let's see if we can do something meaningful this round. Uh, I don't love this hand, but it seems fine. We struggled in our first match at finding rituals. Now we have a lot of rituals, not a lot of action. So we're just going to have six here. And once again, we're facing a blue deck. More rituals. I guess one thing that you could do is start as reanimator and then board into storm. I think we're fine just like playing line drops and passing for now. 
Do we think that would dodge more heat? Probably not. Okay, opponents played an island. Now what? Did not shuffle off Ponder. Okay. I think I'm going to hang on to this looting. I'm going to see what our next draw is before I make any decisions. Okay. So I think our opponent's just like on mono blue. That's the turn. You got it. Got to yield to this. Take a draw. Okay. Um, I think we just play out a pedal and pass. No, we're selling eight cards. Jeez. Uh, let's try looting then. Ooh, we hit relay. That was good. Um, my concern here is them countering right of flame. And if they counter right of flame, you just have to wait a turn. Sure. Now we pass. Now we take two. Take a draw. Try another right of flame. No right of flames for us. Sure. So they have another spell stutter, and they are on mono blue. The vapor snag uh, sort of signals that. They have double spell stutter. Taking one. I've played a lot of vapor snag in my life in Delver and Standard. Uh, let's start for it. And another. And another. Whisper. Sure. Add a red mana. Let's flashback looting. See if this gets countered. Okay, eight cards off this Galvanic Relay. Let's see if that can get us back into this game. I feel like uh, our list might be a little bit poorly built. And by that I mean... We're like two, we're like a three week old chatter storm list where we didn't have dress in the main deck, and I feel like perhaps both of these rounds, if we had main deck dress, we wouldn't be in such a tough spot. I should probably look at what the relay revealed. Cathartic reunion admittedly doesn't play super well with galvanic relay. Um, let's see what we can do about that. Okay. Am I allowed to morphose? No is the answer. Okay. I will take the increased storm. Thank you. And relay again for six. Cannot cast these cathartics because they are additional costs. And another relay. Okay. So vapor snag might be a little bit tough for us in post board games. But I still think I'm supposed to do the reanimator plan. Epic here. Um, sign in blood. Sure. All right, Lotus Petal. Chrome Star. Let's cycle for a black, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to be a smaller relay for six again. We've revealed the fourth relay. All right. We are getting down to eight. Our opponent could kill us at some point, especially if they let the next sign and blood resolve. I don't think we're getting another turn if we resolve either of those uh, two mana spells. All right, so now we have to win through a spell setter sprite. See what we can do this turn. All right, let's Cabal Ritual. So that resolved. Interesting. Okay. Um, am I allowed to write a flame? Hmm. Looting? It could have been better. I don't even know how I'd get to 17 storm this turn. But let's try, I guess. Flashback looting. 
And let's just draw a card. Flashback looting again. Actually, I should draw a card off this sphere. Okay. Maybe we could do it. I don't know. Looting. We have six cards left in deck, and one of them is Weather the Storm. Um, one exhume. We do have another exhume in there. Let's cycle for a red. So we found Weather. So th this is nine mana. So we have enough to Epicure, Epicure Weather. It's not very nice of you. Um, so if I Epicure into Weather, um, that's not lethal. So I know that my opponent still has a Spell Stutter. Uh, so if I Looting here, they could counter it and then I can't do anything. So I think I'm supposed to just jam the Epicure. I would need two more spells in order to beat Spell Stutter. Yeah, we were just done. Okay. These blue matches are tough. Let's try the reanimator combo again, or reanimator package again. I think this time I'm going to try boarding out relays. Which might mean that like this package should be for non-blue. Um, my fear is that... Because like relay is so good against the blue decks, maybe I should just try the protection spells. Um, maybe like shave two looting, going down to two against blue decks. Hmm. I feel like it's two stars. Let's try this out. Can't keep that. Hmm. I don't love this hand, but it's probably fine. Delver. Dark Ritual. Let's try to convert this hand into literally anything else. Let's get rid of that Spell Pierce. Then a Preordain. And Relay. Two, both the Exhumes. Jeez. Not a very good relay. When it's casting preordain here, I feel like that relay uh, might have lost us the game. Okay, we'll add uh, red black here, I guess. Let's morphos again. Black red. Whisper. Hmm. Not gonna be good enough. I think we just have to pass. Both the exhumes is a little bit awkward after we drew Epicure. Vapor snag, so even if we were on the reanimator deck, they would they left in snag. Yeah, we're just getting crushed here. These decks are built to beat the Chatter Storm deck, and like we're just a worse version of that, unfortunately. I don't see myself winning this. Honestly, I'd rather just save some time and go to the next match. So we're starting this 0 and 2. All right, 0 oh and 2. Let's see if we can get a few wins this league. That'd be nice. On the play, maybe not against a blue deck. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep this hand. Three lands is pretty reasonable. Okay, I think we want to lead on the sandstone needle. Like, it doesn't really matter because I don't think we're casting sign and blood on turn 2 anyway. What are you on, opponent? Ah, oh, another island deck. Jeez. This deck three rounds in a row? Boring. Everyone complains about Chatterstorm, but uh, never about Affinity or, you know, the Blue Fairies decks. Like, this shit is lame. Yep. Just playing lands and passing. We got an island, okay. Preordain from the opponent. Two on the bottom. 
I think we're probably going to try a relay turn right now. Okay. Red Flame. Let's Morphos. I'd rather not have to sack a resource if I don't have to. Dark Ritual. Sign in Blood. Morphos. Black Red. I feel like Reunion is a pretty juicy counter spell target. But I can also just like cycle this Chrome Sphere for an extra storm count instead. Epic here. Uh, a little awkward, but okay. Um, I think we should Cathartic. Like this is going to eat a counter spell and then we can relay for 10. For 11, I'm sorry. Sure. Okay, now relay. What can we do next turn with 11 cards? Only one land in there. I like that. And two relays? Hell yeah. I sort of feel like this deck actually doesn't have enough copies of weather in it. And they're tapping out the disrespect. Let's see if we can kill our opponent. Um, let's just start off by sacrificing this. Why not? 33 cards in deck. I think we can do some damage this turn. Knight's Whisper. Whisper again. No Rate of Flames. Okay. Uh, one in the graveyard. Let's cycle a few Chromatic Stars before casting these lootings. Another looting. Some mana would be nice. We haven't found a whole lot of that yet. Cast this looting. Okay, we found the first right. I'm sorry, the second right. There's one already in the graveyard. Um, let's cycle sphere. Storm count's getting high. Uh, but this weather isn't quite good enough yet. Um, this room's 12. I feel like I should flashback looting. Okay. Discard this looting. I don't think I want to discard Epic here. This room's 13. Um, so 4 mana, 7 mana. I can Epic here into weather, but that's not good enough. Um... If we could find an Exhum, I think we just have Lethal. There's two Exhums in the deck with 18 cards. Cast Looting, I guess. Okay. Um, I think I'm just all in on finding the Exhum now. And I think we can probably discard the Weather in hand. Because we're not going to need to double Weather. Red. Black, I guess. Okay, uh, we should whisper. Mana's getting a little bit weird here. Um, can I actually cathar- uh, so this would bring me down to two. So I can actually win the game right now. Um, that's awkward. With cathartic. 13 cards in deck, two exhumes. So if I cathartic, I have to discard both copies of Petal. That would leave me with two black floating. Cathartic would have to find the last Lotus Petal and an Exhum in order for it to win. Uh, I guess it could also find a Ritual. So if we flashback looting, I'd only have two. Yeah, I, I think it's actually just better to Cathartic here. Hope for the best. Uh, this is so risky. Come on, carry me. That was bad. Um, I don't think that was good enough. Bottom 10 cards have both exhumes. So we had black, red. So I'm a mana short of winning the game now because this was just so far into the deck. We just have to sign in blood and pray to hit the nuts. So what do we, I guess we want Lotus Petal off this. Lotus Petal could actually win it. 
right? Uh, yeah, Lotus Petal could win it, the fourth petal. Does that do anything? So I guess we can flashback looting. Maybe we can actually get this. Cabal Ritual. Four cards left in deck. Flashback looting again. Ah, oh, kidding me. I really didn't hit. Wow. That's such a bummer. Oh, I didn't have a fourth pedal. I guess I burned it and didn't realize. One, two, three. Where's the fourth? Oh, I just like I'm an idiot and didn't realize that it was right next to it. All right. I feel like that game was winnable. Maybe, maybe there was a sequencing error in there somewhere. I felt like I definitely could have won that. So, I guess I could try the reanimator package. Or I can just like keep on trying to do the Epicure thing. I feel like I want to try the Epicure. Just because Relay is so good against blue decks, I think we want to stay on this plan. If I could uh, build this deck all over to pre-record this league, I think I'd want to try a third weather. Um, just so that way we could make it easier not needing to draw our entire deck to win. So that way we could just have like more double weather wins. Friendly reminder, if you're not already a part of our combo communities, open up that description down below. You'll find seven social media networks. Make sure to join them. I would personally recommend the Discord. A lot of great combo conversation happening in there, regardless of the format. So I know it says Legacy Storm Community. We have all formats in there. Make sure to check it out. Okay, on the play for game number two. Sure, lands are good against blue decks. Why not? Okay, peat bog. Let's go. Evolving wilds. Okay. You could like play chromatic sphere here with these lands. If it was a uh, geothermal crevice, I'd probably play the chrome sphere here. But with the counter lands, I don't think that's correct. So I'm just gonna pass the turn. No need to uh, you know burn your lands too quickly. All right, love the relay draw. Sure. Fumes is not very good against me. That's fine. Weather, okay. We're fine just going land pass. We don't need to play into their counter magic more than we need to. But also, like, it'd be nice if we had the three, um, Weathers, because like I wouldn't be so afraid to discard these to Faithless looting them. Sure. The ball ritual, does that resolve? No, it does not. Okay. Petal. Petal. And I think I'm good just relaying for seven. I don't really want to burn these to relay. Okay. Bunch of mana in that relay, no payoff spells. All right, opponents on five cards. Right of Flame. Dark Ritual. Seven in the bin. Let's Cabal Rit. Chromatic Star, and then Morphos. This one I could see them maybe countering. No. Okay. Um, let's cash in this star. I usually like cycling these before um, making any sort of decision on Faithless Looting. Well, these cards just aren't relevant, so let's get rid of the cycler. So we do have a window to win this turn because our opponent like boarded for Squirrel Storm and that's just not what we're playing. So let's draw a card off Sphere, or Star, I mean. So we drew the Epic here. That's a good start. Um, we need a higher Storm count, though. Faithless Looting. Let's grab these lands we don't need. Right of Flame. Halfway there. 
Night's Whisper. A few more spells is fine, but not quite what we need. Got a black. Another relay. Uh, maybe it's just best to relay. So we have four floating. We can go up to six, nine. Uh, that would be all of our mana, but we could theoretically Epicure into Weather into Galvanic Relay and then play a land. It's probably better than flashing back Faithless Looting, right? Ooh, apparently I'm wrong. I was a mana off. Ah, uh, crap. Um, if that's the case, I think I'm supposed to Relay. I wish I had realized that. Or I, I think if I realized that, I would have flashed back Looting. Sort of a bummer. So our opponent has double Preordain and an Echoing Decay. Revealing a lot of cards here. Let's see what we can do on our next turn. We know that our opponent has two Preordains and a Cycle Land. They're using the Cycle Land to go grab an Island. Helping them draw their outs. And the first Preordain. One on top, one on the bottom. And then the second preordain. Both of those on the bottom. Okay, so now they have decay and three unknowns. The three unknowns are the draw step plus the two cards off preordain. And another preordain, okay. Two on the bottom of that one as well. And they're just going to attack, okay. I think we're going to start off by attacking as well. It's pretty free to do, reduces the needed storm count to 16. Do I want to fight over that? I don't think I do. Okay. Um, I think I just start on duress here. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Right of Flame. Epicure. Black, green. Whoa. Apparently I misclicked. Um, it's fine. Green, black. A Cabal Ritual, you are welcome. So Storm is six. I'm gonna looting so I can discard Epicure. We don't want this relay. Cast right. Let's exhume. We need to bring back Epicure. So if I want to cast the other Epicure, that should do it. We're finally it's only the third match, but we're finally going to get to do our combo successfully. Alright. Killing someone with Weather the Storm, it finally happens. <laughs> this is actually like a Tendrils of Agony. More, it's more like Tendrils than Grape Shot. It's Storm 10, our opponent's losing 2, we're gaining 3. Yeah, that's definitely Tendrils. It's the green Tendrils of Agony. That's what I've always said. Alright, and we're finally going to a game 3 against a blue deck. Wow, is this what it feels like? It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think our configuration was correct. I'm just going to resubmit this. If you're interested, make sure to check out the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. For our base tier, I will play your deck and make suggestions. For our super tier, 10% off the Epic Storm merchandise, and I will help you finesse your deck. And then I will play your deck and make suggestions. And then for the Epic tier, you can actually join me here on this very YouTube channel, explain your thought process behind the deck, why things are the way they are, and showcase your creation. And on top of that, you get 15% off merchandise from the Epic Storm shop. And then we get into the nitty gritty of deck building. We talk about cyborg mapping and in-depth game theory. Make sure to check out these details at theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. All right, game three, and we're on the draw. Opening Epicure isn't ideal, but I think uh, this hand's fine. Okay. Our opponent's mulligan to five. Are we actually going to win a match against the blue deck? Probably just jinxed it by saying that out loud. Evolving Wilds, okay. 
lead off on this crevice because we have Pyroblast. Otherwise, I probably would have played Peat Bog. Interesting that they got the Swamp. I think that means that they have Dress in hand. And I don't think I actually care about Dress with uh, our current 7 card, so that's fine. No, okay. And I'm fine just jamming a star here. If they want to spell stutter, they're welcome. Sure. Ooh, they did have the duress. I wasn't wrong. They just wanted to hold up spell stutter. So something we can do on our next turn is we can actually just duress. Okay. Well, they didn't do the play I thought they were going to do. I was going to say we could just duress and do a hard cast of 4-4 and attack a bunch. Opponent is down to two. Cards in hand, that is. Okay, I'm just gonna pass here. Okay, so we're gonna take another one to 18. Down to two. Cards in hand. Relay. Hmm. Let's draw, see what they have going on. Nothing. All right, we have one floating. I wonder if we can Epicure and Relay. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, so we have one floating plus four is five, six, seven. So we're short of doing both. So I think what we should do is we should just Pyroblast the, uh, the Spell Stutter so that way they can't Ninja it and then Relay for five. And then next turn, if we want to Hardcast Epicure, we can do it then. Who knows, maybe we only hit mana. All right. Not the best Galvanic Relay, but it is what it is. Uh, our opponent did not play a land. They might be holding it for Brainstorm. All right. Sphere. Take a draw. Hmm. So if they want to counter this, they're more than welcome. Uh, there I was trying to decide if Relay for three was was worth more... If the second the land to increase relay was worth it, and I think the answer is yes. Do you have another spell stutter? Is that what you do for turn? Okay, so they let that resolve. Let's draw a card. Whisper, okay. Let's relay for four. Not the most impressive, but it's fine. And that was actually decent. So this sandstone needle is on the previous relay, so it's just these four cards. Two on the bottom. And they're going to duress, likely taking my duress. No, okay. Just whisper. Okay. So they have one unknown. I think that I know that it's like Ash Barons, right? Yeah, I think I know that the last card in their hand is Ash Barons. Dark Ritual. Can we kill them with a 4 4 vampire? That'd be fun. Metamorphose, red green. Let's cycle this. Why not? Metamorphose again. Hmm. All right. I guess I have the window. Let's whisper. Dark red. You could argue that maybe I was supposed to hold the pedal for looting there. I wouldn't think that's incorrect. We drew another one anyway. So now my choices are hard cast Epicure or Sacrifice um, or possibly more Storm towards a Relay. We have two Relay left in the deck. I think it's fine. Okay, and I'm just going to hard cast the Vampire and pass. Okay, so it's their Ash Barons versus my 4-4. Four -four. I guess they get one uh, new draw here as well. Hardcast Ninja. Okay. Um, I think we just pass. We have two Pyroblasts left in the deck. Whisper. They still have Ash Burns and one unknown. Okay, so they drew the Brainstorm. The reason that they were holding Ash Barons. Okay. 
just going to pass here. So they thought whatever card they kept was good enough that they didn't shuffle in their upkeep. That is good to know. Okay. This is buying time. Relic. Okay. Sure. I'm going to flashback the looting. Try to get a little bit of value out of this before they possibly exile our graveyard. Summer. Okay. So I, I guess you could argue that I got the draw out of Spell Stutter. Like that was the benefit of it. And maybe that's worth it. I don't know. Uh, they drew their cast down. We're going to lose to the Mold of Five. Okay, another cycle on the Ash Barons. Yeah, I'm not feeling too confident in this anymore. Okay, so they're getting in there for three. They have another ninja. Okay, they're now ancestraling every turn. Uh, their draw step plus these. I know that they have a counter spell in hand. I'm going to save a little bit of time because this league is going long. Uh, I'm going to concede and just go to match number four. Oh, and three, unfortunately. All right, the fourth round. We're on the play. Can we face a non-blue deck? Let's find out. Uh, this hand seems fine. Our opponent's got seven. Pete Bog pass. Nope. Fairies for the fourth round? Let's find out. Knight's Whisper. See if we can hit a land here. No land. Uh, but we can just play out a pedal and pass, and I have to lose a card. Steel Sabotage. That's uh, spicy. Sure, let's pass. Okay. Epicure. A little bit... Uh, not really the card we want, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. I think we should try to assign him blood. Like, I could try to, like, ritual into a... Or, like, ball ritual, but, like, is that really what we want to be doing? Gross. You know what? Why not? We're just going to try to jam. Um, okay. Let's whisper. Let's cabal rat. Got a green. Might be the end of the line. Faithless looting. Hmm. Or it again. Morphos. Flashback looting. We could double relay. <laughs> that would exile pretty much our entire deck. Um, that seems good to me. Can we win next turn off of double pedal? I think that's what the ask is. Uh, we're going to have like seven cards in our deck. And we're going to need to win off two Lotus Petals. Probably going to be pretty tough. Okay, so we revealed the first petal. We need to reveal the second. All right, and we revealed the second. So now there's at least a chance that we win this. And this is going to leave us with like seven cards in deck, six after our draw step. Okay, so the relays are resolving. Let's see if we can maybe win a game. Okay, pass the turn. No cards in hand, no hand. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, no, card, no cards in hand, no board. Sorry. Fairies here, okay. We have seven cards in deck. Can we win it? I wonder if there should just be like one swamp. Returns like this. Does Lotus Petal resolve? It's kind of wild that this league has just been fairies uh, for four rounds in a row. Talks a lot about the state of Popper, or speaks a lot about the uh, state of Popper, I should say. But also, like, this is pretty miserable. Like, I know everyone's, like, really down on Chatterstorm, but they need to hit these blue decks, too. They should also hit Affinity. They should just, like, take something from all three, because it's a three-deck format. And, 
like if there's just three super strong pillars hit something from each like obviously chatter storm could probably go from uh the storm deck you could argue that atog probably doesn't deserve to be um in popper just because it allows it to have that splinter twin type effect and then maybe take spell stutter out of blue and then that way all three decks are watered down um i mean it does have a tumbling effect because then tron and the monarch decks and the cascade decks come back but like i think all of those are fine at least in my opinion all right so now we have to win off this pedal shouldn't be too bad dark rip Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Dark Ritual. Let's uh, filter for a red here. I drew a zoom. Red of Flame. Uh, let's filter for a green. Should just be able to double Epicure and win here. Alright, Epicure. Let's get back the epic here from the graveyard. And weather the storm. Tendrils of Agony. Woot woot. All right, so we've taken game number, what is this, game one versus blue? So now we just have to squeak out another one. Will we at least be 25% against blue decks? Let's find out. All right, so these can come in again. I think I like taking out Cathartic. I like shaving on Faithless Looting. And I think it was the Spheres that I took out last time. Yeah, so this was the game plan. Hit Submit and uh, hopefully get one of these next two games. Friendly reminder, one of the best ways of supporting this channel is the epicstorm.com slash shop. Make sure to go check out card singles and tons of Storm swag. Okay, game number two. This hand's not capable. We gotta ship that. Um, sure, bottom amorphos. I mean, this isn't very good. Maybe I was supposed to bottom weather. That might have been better because we could use morphos to build into um, galvanic relay. I was thinking when I kept the weather that like maybe I want to keep it for winning with Epicure, but I just don't think that's what this game is about. So that was probably a misplay on my part. Passing the turn, just not going to play in a spell stutter. Okay. Thunder. Thunder is still in the middle of resolving. Did not shuffle. Okay. Fog. I'm just going to pass. No reason to do anything here. Take another one from the fairies here. Go to 17. Lands on lands. Pass. <laughs> yeah, we're at 16. Fairies here are doing work. Spire Golem. Okay. Needle. We're just hitting all of our land drops. Yep, so now they're doing three a turn. We are going to go to 13. Very, uh, very miscreant, okay. Um, I don't think we're supposed to do anything. I think we're just supposed to pass here. Okay, so now we go to nine. So this is fairy seer, so they will not draw a card because it's the other fairy. Okay. Uh, so this will be five. I think I'm just going to pass again. With this weather, the storm in hand, I can afford to be uh, a little more patient. All right. So now we have to do something. Start off on duress. Her opponent's down to four cards in hand, so they don't have a whole lot here. Okay. Dark ritual. Am I allowed to have that? Red Flame. What about Sign and Blood? Okay. Picking up Relay was good there. And Counterspell. 
So we do have two Pyroblasts in the deck. I could try to Morphos into one. Uh, it doesn't hurt. I have two cards in hand. Not Pyroblast. Okay. Dress is countered. Petal. Petal. From Star. Is that a green? We're going to tap these for mana. Play Chrome Star. And let's cycle this again. Petal. Okay, so we're going to gain a lot of life here and then cast Galvanic Relay. Storm Spells. It is nice that Relay works well with Weather the Storm. That is one asset of this deck that I enjoy. Because often you'll cast Relay and just pray not to die, but with Weather, you just know you're not going to die. So Storm 15, we could look at 15 cards off the top. Our opponent has two cards in hand. Feeling pretty good about this right now. Okay, and here are the cards coming from Relay. They look pretty good. I think we might actually get a match win. I'm going to jinx it by saying it out loud, but it's possible. In match number four, we might get a win. All right. Passing back. Okay, so the opponent's going to get in there. Looks like they have a ninja, that's fine. So we know that they have a spell stutter in their hand that we have to beat on our turn. We have Dress Pyroblast, so we have some interaction of our own. And let's see if we can win. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Uh, let's fire off that Dress. This should be a pretty easy win. Opponent thinking about the duress here. Two counter spells and a spell stutter. Okay, so that didn't really matter. Uh, let's sign and blood ourselves. Why not? We don't have an epic here in the graveyard. Um, Night's Whisper. Another Dark Rit. Night's Whisper, Red of Flame. It's going through the motions at this point. Uh, let's just hard cast Epic here. They're going to counterspell it, and then we can just you know exhum it back. Sure. And now when they go to Spell Stutter, we can Pyroblast. Okay, so exhum is going to resolve. We'll bring back Epic here. They will get their Spell Stutter Sprite. All right, now we just need to finish this off. Just cast a few more spells. Oh, it's looting, why not? Get rid of land relay. Another Cabal Ritual, it's just good for your health. Uh, Chromatic Star. And Storm 20, weather the storm. Grape shot this time. Woot woot. Gaining 60 life is pretty cool, I suppose. All right. We've won a match. 25% against Delver, uh, or Fairies, whatever you would like to call it. <laughs> Round number five coming right up. Okay, I think we're having the streak broken. This person usually plays Affinity based on my memory. Uh, so likely not mono blue, but... Who knows? Uh, we could get, you know, the five mono blue league. Or I guess they're all not mono blue, but they're, you know, fairies. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Let's keep this. Two lands is acceptable. And isn't great. It's like fine, but might not be good enough to beat uh, Affinity. And they are, in fact, on Affinity. Just gonna play out my lands and pass. Block cast, okay. Sign in blood. Um, let's play out the sphere so that way it's not negative mana. Okay. Little do they know we're not playing Chatterstorm. We're just playing Epicure combo instead. 
<laughs> so it's worth noting against Affinity, Galvanic uh, Blast does kill Epicure, which is sort of an issue. Okay. I think I just run a Reunion here. Uh, Dispel does not counter it, and I'd like to upgrade these cards if possible. Um... The problem is if they just like slam an Atog next turn, it becomes very scary, but I think I'm supposed to pass here. Please don't kill me. Interesting. They're just going to blast me. All right, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Um, maybe I shouldn't play the Sandstone Needle. I think how I'm actually supposed to do this is I should cycle this for black. Because, like, there's a chance that I won't need to sacrifice any of those. These lands are definitely more valuable than, like, a Lotus Petal or something. <sighs> Taking a long time on this Petal. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to sack this for black. Does this resolve? Okay. Knight's Whisper. Morphos. So I actually wouldn't hate a weather of the storm just to make sure that we live. Red flame isn't bad. Okay, mana morphos. Another right of flame. Creating a storm. Looting. Hey, we found weather. How lucky. Alright, sign of blood. Pretty free to looting here, I think. All right, so we have four mana floating. Um, so this should uh, be fine. So we're going to gain 36 life and then relay twice for almost our entire deck. Okay, waiting on the opponent to let these weather the storms resolve. Okay. You might want to skip ahead. Uh, I have a feeling that this might take a little bit. Okay, they learned how to have sex. That's good. Relay. And relay. Sweet. Okay. The 28 cards entered the revealed zone. On our upkeep, they're going to tap down one of our lands with this creature. Um, it's just what it is. We have one Lotus Petal, two Petal, three Petals. That's fine. Okay. So we are at 42 life. Sure. Petal. 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 Um, let's tap this and no right of flames in there, huh? Okay. Dark ritual. I guess we did use three right of flames earlier in this game, so drawing the fourth uh, shouldn't be expected. Sorry, I'm covering up my storm count. I didn't mean to do that. Round storm seven. Uh, there's still the last epic here in the deck as well, so we should probably try to find that. Let's Morphos. We found the last Rite of Flame. Wonderful. I was missing it. Uh, let's add a few green here. Okay. Play a few stars. They help increase Storm anyway, so like it doesn't hurt us that much. There's the Epic here. Trying to increase Storm. Okay, let's cast Exhum, bring back the Epicure that's already in the graveyard. So we could lose this game if they have like double Galvanic Blast, that's certainly a possibility. Um, let's draw a card, why not? Okay, um, so I guess I can cast Relay is the last card in my deck that like doesn't do anything. I guess uh, the difference... Never mind, I can just weather. Uh, we have Storm 19, so Storm 20 would be weather. 
So they would need double Gav Blast here. We have two of them. Uh, I guess, uh, what is it called? Fling would have done it too. That's a bummer. Okay. Did not get game number one versus Affinity. Triple Gav Blast, I suppose. All right. Um, I don't think the reanimator plan's probably very good against Affinity, but instead I think we just want this stuff. Yeah, pretty much just boarding how we've been boarding all league. Maybe try something like this. Submit that. I'm going to dra grab a drink right now because I've been talking for like two and a half hours while recording this. I recommend you doing the same out of an Epic Storm Pint glass. All right, game two versus Affinity. This seems fine. But another reason that I would want a third weather is like we could have beaten those Gav Blasts had I had another weather in the deck. So I just feel like two is probably wrong. Like three is probably the good, the right number on that. Excuse me. And now we're down a game against Affinity. Not a good spot to be in. Chrome Star, pass the turn. Okay. I think I'm going to cycle this for a black and just cast the Whisper. Try to land drop here. No land. We can just play a star though. There's a Tog. Um, hmm. See what we could do this turn. Turn on Duress. Okay, so I just have two Hydros, which don't matter that much. So I think I'm going to take the Fling here. If they don't counter this, they're not going to have a target for the rest of the turn, so it doesn't really matter. All right, Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Ball Ritual. We could draw the other weather. That would be beautiful, but I realize it's a very tall ask off just this one cycle. But it would be so sweet. Uh, yeah, it's not looking good. I think we might have just lost. I had a window of the win there and I took it, but maybe it was just too aggressive. This deck definitely wants more weathers in it though. I know that for sure. So like I can play my 4-4 and gain like, I can put them to 10. And then they can just bounce the 4-4 and it doesn't matter. All right, I'm just going to concede. I'm sorry that we finished this League 1-4. I think that this deck has some promise. Uh, it just didn't really pan out that way. So moving forward, honestly, I feel like if we faced a more diverse amount of decks, we could have used the sideboard package more. But because we just faced like two decks, it didn't really work out that well. I do think we want a third weather. Um, and I think that these Chromatic Sphere slots are slots that can be experimented with. You could just play another Sign of Blood and another Weather there, or even um, another Epicure type effect. There is another one that costs three mana. Granted, that one dies to things like Bolt and Shock, um, and then like Echoing Decay and all that sort of stuff. So play what you whatever makes you feel comfortable, but I think that this deck does want a third Weather, and maybe it would be better in a metagame where the blue decks weren't so hostile towards combo and that they were forced to fight a little bit more fair, but this was a pretty miserable league, if I'm being honest, and uh, yeah, fuck the blue decks. That's what I have to say, mostly. Fuck the blue decks. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.